Let us get started with learning C# -sharp link by looking at the definition of link. Link refers to language integrated query. This is the definition of link from Microsoft. Link is the name for a set of technologies based on the integration of query capabilities directly into the C# -sharp language. As the definition tells, they refer to mainly the query capabilities of .NET which you can use in order to develop and integrate with multiple collections, SQL, XML and so on. In order to understand the behavior of link, let us look what was the situation of .NET before the link was introduced. If you look at this diagram, we have multiple objects, XML, entities, data set which are different types of entities which we need to work with C -sharp. Before link was introduced, each of these had their own syntax. For example, if you need to work with object collections, then you need to know how to write and deal with objects. So you need to know the object syntax. Similarly, if you are going to work with XML or XML documents, you need to know its own syntax so that you can directly deal with these files or the data. The same case with the entities and data set where you need to interact with the database, then you need to know their corresponding syntax. So this had its own problem because as a C-Sharp developer, you need to know the various syntax depending on the type of the data which you are going to deal. Then we move to the era of link. What Microsoft have done is that it has combined the syntax of all these different types into a single entity. So this it has been named as a link. So the advantage of this approach is that once you know, understand this link syntax, then you can apply it for all these different types. So it doesn't matter whether your data is XML or objects or you are going to deal with database structures, then the link syntax can apply for all these different types. This gives a tremendous advantage for a C -sharp developer because he needs to understand and become expertise at one specific syntax and then he can apply it to all other different types. Another major advantage with link is that it doesn't have any dependency with third parties. Because as long as you have the namespace system.link within your project, then you can get all the capabilities of a link. Since link system.link namespace is part of .NET, you no need to install any other packages apart from using the .NET core. Just like the queries in SQL, you can use link queries in order to sort, filter, intersect, join and many other operations. Let us look at the structure of a link in the next video.